Hello aunties. So guess what? I have new merch in the store. This is an example, a uh, sample piece. Um, it just says Auntie Baby. And then on the back it says, shh, my auntie said you better subscribe on YouTube. So I said this would be nice. Yes, in the front it is definitely my logo, but on the back, if you got a YouTube channel, you can always also use it as a little marketing part for your channel as well so i like for it to be dual <sighs> okay anyway guys guys before i get started make sure you what subscribe click the bell so that you can be a part of the notification squad and give this video a thumbs up today's topic is da -da -da -da, buying babies <laughs> we always buying babies all right so um First thing first, I'm getting a lot of new um, potential mommies, new people that want to start collecting in this hobby for various reasons. Um, and I just want to go over the basics because we forget that everybody don't um, know all the terms and the difference between rewards and silicones and all that great jazz. So let me start really quickly. These babies here are are not put all the way together. This one, he is he does have his um, body weighted and everything. This one is not weighted at all. Um, she is just kind of there. Um, she's off to get her hair rooted and he is actually getting his hair painted so they're both getting hair so that's why they don't have a head um but these babies here are considered let me show you some of his oh i don't know if i'm in the light Let's see if i can show a little bit of his details he has a mommy those are his little nails but anyway i'll do i'll do a better video of him later but <clears throat> He is a reborn, so he's vinyl. He's not, they're, the reborn uh, babies are not as hard as store-bought dolls, but they are um, vinyl, and they're, they're soft vinyl, but they're not hard like the dolls we used to play with when we were growing up. They're not that hard. Um, and also they have really nice cuddly bodies so they cuddle into you nicely and they're weighted to feel like real babies and when they have a head <laughs> their head will fall back and flop back like a real baby and different um, people paint them in various skin tones such as myself these are the ones that I create I do paint I can paint silicone now but I don't um, do I primarily just paint reborns so let me show you what a silicone baby is okay so um over here i have both a reborn and a silicone baby so puck santana is a silicone baby and he was painted by a very very high sought after artist claire teller if you want to look her dolls up you can on claretellerdolls.com um I will be charging her for that promo and <laughs> just kidding but um yeah so he he is actually what we call silicone he has you know he's a softer mix um he has armatures where his arms can bend and all this and stuff and then this is my little princess this is katie lulu she has not got her hair yet but this is one that i painted myself and i will be getting her um rooted soon and she has an open mouth as well so she can take a full pacifier if it has a small nipple and um i did root her eyelashes and she has painted eyebrows um but yeah this is she is a reborn and she's definitely completed and fully weighted like a real baby but this is a silicone baby so let me explain really quickly for you guys the difference between the two is major in price you may be able to get, like, if I was to sell this baby, rooted, she would probably be between $850 to $900. If I put a, did a sometime every now and then I have something go a little less than that. Um, but for the most part, 
the average reborn starts can be from 500 to thousands, but the average price is I want to say between 500 and I probably want to say 1200 ish dollars versus a silicone baby, rather it's partial or full body now at this point, you're going to pay anywhere from at least 2500 on up to thousands. Um, some start at 10000 and, you know, up. So silicone babies are very, very pricey. Um, but I will say a lot of people, of course, can be very drawn to them because they are very lifelike and because they are very soft and they're anatomically correct. So they have, he has a full, you know what, he has, you know, everything that a real baby boy would have. So that is, you know, the difference. Some of these babies, like, um, you know, the reborns, they will have tummy plates and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really big on them other than for photos. Um, but that's the difference. Silicone babies, remember silicone soft. That is very, the very expensive one. Um, not trying to, you know, talk nobody away from it. But for people that are new coming in the community and they're like, oh, I want one of these. And they're like, I'm looking in the price range of $800. People, sometimes people can be a little, I think, a little too harsh with people because they don't understand that everybody didn't just, you know, walk in here knowing everything about, you know, how much these dolls cost. So, um, that's that. But shopping for them, if you are brand new and you don't know much about a lot of stuff, I personally suggest that you buy from eBay. Um, Facebook is okay, but, you know, Unless you really have been doing your research and following around, um, it's kind of hard to know who is legit. But if you see any of these babies on sale for like $99, $100, and if they don't look like crap and missing edges, give me one second, Gabby, missing edges and all that type of stuff I'm talking about, if they don't look toe down from the floor down, they don't look like something you be dragging around calling Raggedy Ann, for ninety nine dollars, it ain't it ain't legit. That is a scam. So unless it's a giveaway, it's very rare stuff like that happens. Okay. So um, sometimes people will say it's a boo boo baby, and then they will discount the price. But if they you know if they if they say it's a boo boo baby, the price still is not going to be that low. So. That's just number one to look out for that. Guys, be careful. Um, don't don't feel bad asking other collectors that you might be following in the community what they think. Is it legit? Stuff like that. Um, the other thing is always pay PayPal. Um, never pay friends and family when you're, especially when you're new. Now I know there are some some. Um, times as us more experienced collectors um out here we will bend those rules for certain you know people certain artists certain you know circumstances but new you always pay as merchandise you just you know pay you know let them send you either they send you an invoice or when you send it you send it as merchandise you do not whatever you do just not do friends and family because these people are not your friend come on guys say it with me and they are not your what family <laughs> As much as they call you sis and sus, they will take your coins and leave you stuck looking like Chuck. Okay? Don't catch yourself in the book. What? Oh, I'm a rapper. Okay, no, I'm just, okay. Anyway, seriously, guys, be careful. So, that is, I prefer, I don't shop on Etsy. I know people do sh shop on Etsy as well, but I'm just more familiar with eBay. Um. So, that is my thing if you want to get educated on you know different artists and stuff like that join facebook groups you know like reborn doll addicts or reborn baby doll addicts or um that's one of the big groups that i follow um follow um just go in and search and, and join groups you know that has tons of people in it 
Um, I have a group, Miss Serenity Smith Doll Chat Club. There's a lot of people in there that have reborns and stuff like that. Just look around and you see a baby you like, ask who is that artist? You know, then you look up that artist, then you follow that artist, then you look at the artist's work. You look at the artist's work in different lightings. It is very hard sometimes for us to capture the true actual color of the dolls on camera sometimes. But just know if you like their color palette, and when I say that you like the color tones that they use in their babies in the majority of all their pictures, then nine times out of ten you're okay. If it's a little lighter in person, a little darker in person, you'll be okay. But if you just like and eh, you know questionable doubt don't do it so i would say i know a lot of people start out high that's not a problem but i just me personally it, it's not about price i do like to shop you know for a bargain i do like to get um the best price for the best i can get but i would say i would try for you know, something like a middle of the road, decent, just to see if you're going to like it. Because my thing is, you know, that was my thing with silicone. When I first got into silicone, which it's changed now, the partials was a little bit cheaper. And so a lot cheaper. So I started out with a partial so I can see if I even like silicone and how it feels and how it moves and all that stuff. And I started out there and then I went to, you know, a boo-boo full body and then a real full body, you know. That type of thing. But anyway, guys, I just thought I would um, share a little bit of what, you know, I think about getting started. Um, again, you know, I will try to do another video and talk about a little bit more. I don't typically recommend. A lot of people ask me to recommend artists. Um, and I am very slow to do that anymore because, um, some artists, they do good on some babies, some babies, they don't, some people, they do better for them. Some people, they don't. So it's very hard for me to say, oh yeah, choose this artist. And then you get a baby and it don't go the way that you wanted it to go or the customer service suck, so on and so forth. So I am not really the one that's going to say go buy a doll from this person so it's nothing personal it's not about me painting myself or anything else like I don't want to promote anyone or nothing like that it's just that in the past I've done that most people usually just they like what I you know my collection where I buy my babies from and they will buy from the same artist and that's fine but I have had before, if I tell somebody about, you know, a particular artist, if their doll don't come out as good as my doll came out or something like that, then they have a fit. And a lot of that has to do with um, just, you know, these are handmade dolls. They're not going to be super perfect and no doll is going to be the same. And I'll talk about that in a second video. The next video I want to get into and I'm going to end this here is private orders, customs, and customer service and I know we've went over this a thousand times but like I said I have a lot of new people to my channel that is new to collecting and I just want to touch on that just a little bit just a little bit uh, uh, ooh. oh okay anyway <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching I hope this was helpful leave me you know any questions that you might have in the um, comment section and I'll be glad to get with you and respond to you guys and as you guys know, the people that have been emailing me, I have been trying to email respond to those emails as well. Please keep in mind, I do have a full-time job, so I can't be on here like um, the switchboard throughout the days and the weekdays while I'm working. But I do my very best. Love you guys.